does it. So Jesse, um, you know, personally, you got you had your best career night. So put put into words what that was like. Um. Uh, yeah. And points wise, I had a good night. Uh. So it's it's a good way, I guess, to you know get the last game out here. Personally, uh, it was obviously a rough game for us. Uh, together, they shot uh, a lot better than we were uh, expecting um, from deep, uh, especially in the first half. So, uh, yeah, all credit to them. You know, they played a really good game. Um, and, um, yeah, so it's mixed feelings, really. Is your wrist still bothering you on your shot? And how long did it take you to get back to at least to a point where you felt, you know, reasonably good about it? Yeah, I don't want to put too much on my wrist. Obviously, like it's it's not going to be an excuse forever. It's obviously it's bothering me. You know, it's it's not um, like you know it's it's still something you feel every day, every every practice, every all that. Um, it's mostly about just getting the touch back. Probably noticed it out there. I didn't really <laughs> have my best shooting night from the from the line. Um, but yeah, it's it's in between. I'm, I I don't want to you know be that guy that's like oh yeah. It's my, it's my wrist that's bothering me. That's why I'm, I'm not shooting well, but, yeah. Jesse, any story? Uh, obviously, the senior night activities prior to the game, Coach Huggins comes out. Uh, any story behind that? Did you guys ask him to, to come out? Or, or, or you know, uh, and, and then, you know, spending a few minutes with him there. What was that like? Uh, always good to see. I'm Like, uh, the guys that were recruited by Hugs were still, you know, really close with Hugs, and all the guys that played with him, of course. Um... So we're like we're on you know really uh, good terms and it was nice for us to have him uh, be out there for this night to uh, kind of I don't know like full circle have 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 him be yeah. there for us as well um, I think that was that was important for us to to, to do that I found it uh, you know uh, nice and him and June uh, it's always been really good to us to see him there it's, it's, it's very nice for us um, Did you guys call him up previously and say hey come out and uh, yeah kind of. <laughs> um, I think, uh, yeah, me and Kurt, like, um, and so the guys, the guys who uh, he recruited, um, we asked him to come out, yeah. You said the shooting by uh, TCU, I mean, they, they're not known necessarily for that, so yeah. I mean, how, can't you catch you by surprise? You know, how, how big was that for their start? Uh, yeah, so obviously they're not. Or they not have not been this season a like a premier shooting team. They're a really good team. That's not what they go to mostly. Um, so one of part part of our game plan was obviously to you know um, force them to shoot uh, a bunch of contested threes um, more than they're used to, more than they'd like to. Um, and yeah, like I said, credit to them, they made uh, a lot of them in a row uh, in the first half, uh, which put us down. Um, among other things, but that was obviously a big part of it. Um, but you know, you're going with a game plan, and uh, sometimes it just doesn't uh, work out the way you hope it does. But yeah, that was that was a. Uh, I think it was. I think it was a good game plan. It just you know, kind of uh, backfired in that part. Yes, yeah, so are you are you tired of getting fouled? <laughs> you fouled twelve times tonight. Yeah, yeah, I I mean, I'm kind of used to getting fouled at this point, uh, so I don't really mind it. Um, and the rest did a good job calling it. Uh, today, obviously, the the line was a little bit less friendly to me, um, but I'm 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 okay with fouling the beast. That's not as I you know. How long before the pain goes away, though? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wish it was tomorrow, man. I wish it was tomorrow, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, obviously, uh, one more game left in the regular season, and then. Big 12 tournament and whatever happens there, but I mean, you guys have basically gone through the bulk of everything now, and having gone through, gone through it all one year in Morgantown. What will you take uh, from from the season? Uh, you know, what we you know, 10 years from now, someone says, "Yeah, you spent a year in Morgantown." What 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 was that like? Uh, to be honest, it was still one of the best years of my life. Uh, like, regardless of everything that happened, you know, it was one of the craziest seasons I've had in my life. I mean, I think for most people, you know, one of these things that happened, happened like it normally happens like once every 10 years, happened for us like 10 times in one season. So that was obviously, you know, not great. But no, I've, I've learned so much, man. Uh, and 
yeah, what what is even more amazing, like the fact that all these fans every night for us, you know, uh, fill the seats, fill the stadium. If we lost a big game before, if we won a big game before, it doesn't matter. Uh, they be there, and to have that like kind of pulls you through a season like this. Um, and like you said, we're not done. We still got um, a couple games left, um, but. No, I got great memories from Morristown. Still, whatever uh, whatever went down, I still got great memories. If I were to list all the things that happened this year, yeah. and, and, and would have handed you that list, you know, back in you know, <laughs> November or, or before the season, yeah. hard to be- been hard to believe. You think? I mean. Yeah, I mean, I would have taken a step back and been like, wow, that's a that's a rough package to go for right now. But uh, yeah, no, it's it's something like like I said, like you know. Uh, you, you uh, don't expect to have more than one of those in a season, and we had like a bunch. So it's uh, it's been crazy, but like that, all those like adversities, you know, uh, like I've never learned this much. Like whether it's about playing the game, coaching the game, uh, everything around it, what makes a team tick, what doesn't make a team tick. Like that is something you don't pick up. Um, when you're, you know, on the team that's, you know, cruising because you're really thinking about basketball, basketball, and that's a great thing. But a year like this gives you, like, life experience, which you'd never, ever get another way, so. Yeah, there's no way all that stuff's going to happen. No, no. I mean, I hope I don't have it every year now. But, uh, yeah, it's it's. I'll just take the positives from it, and that's, that's you, big. You've been here for a season, uh, a little bit less than a year, I guess, uh, calendar-wise. Yeah. Uh, this, this game tonight, any kind of, um, you know, I wanted to give people at least some something to remember me by. Uh, did that ever kind of come into your mind at all as the points started piling up? Um, a little bit. I guess when I when I had the 30, it was a little bit like, oh, I, I'd never had it before, yeah. like the 30. So, I mean, that was nice. In my, in my, when I looked up, I saw that. I was like, hey, that's, that's, that's good at least a little bit for myself to, to, to show something like that. Uh, but, no, nah, I was just – playing to be honest yeah. and I remember I had a pretty good senior night last year um, so it's nice to have one here well, yeah. there's, there's worse ways to go out go, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah true <laughs> that's true that's true Jesse I know you were on the Dutch national team last summer <coughs> I don't even know if they qualified for the Olympics any chance you could play with that this uh, summer this summer unlikely uh, I've already you know been in contact with them. Obviously, <laughs> Olympics is looking rough for us. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> our, our, uh, wait, <laughs> we're probably not gonna make that. Um, maybe in four years, but um, yeah, I, I will be playing with them a lot in the next couple of years. Uh, just this summer's probably just a little too much with everything going on. But I, I'd love to. Yeah. You answered that just. A little, you answered this a little bit, but. You did something tonight only four West Virginia players in history have ever done with your point and rebound totals together. Four all-time greats here. Do you all talk about that, or do you all look at records, you know, when you're just sitting around whatever said, hey, man, this dude had this many assists, or this dude did this or that? And what does that mean to you? That's, uh, I mean, that's definitely an honor to, to be in that list, like, for sure. Um I, I'm not like that big a stat guy, I'm a stat guy. Um, but yeah, we do talk about stuff like that. Like if you, if you look at some of these stats, they're like insane. You know, when there's one dude in whatever year it might be, like 20, 30, 40 years ago, or uh, if it's Deshaun Butler in the locker room that says something up. Uh, you know, you look at that, you try to try to uh, um, you know get your numbers anywhere close to that, and and uh, it's 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 an honor to know that um, I did. You know, something that that might be uh, remembered a little bit, um, and yeah, it's fun. It's fun though. Jesse, thank you. Thank you, guys.